Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It has been a minute and a half since I have spoken to you guys. My hair is doing some stuff today. It is humid. It did not look like this when I got to work. This is why I don't wear my hair down anymore. That and because it's just too much. Good afternoon. It is after 12 p.m., so it is technically afternoon. Um, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and that is because I have been in my head, and I've just been very tired, very overwhelmed, very not great. So I haven't vlogged. I haven't talked to you guys. I haven't done really anything. Um, oh, I put a pen air credit union there. That's weird. Mm. So it's been, it's been a, it's been a minute. Um, I've just been super stressed. Nothing, nothing weight related, anything like that. Nothing medical, um, family stuff. And then shit, I'm going to have to stop and let this big truck pass. Uh, so family stuff, nothing medical, money, work, stuff like that. Um, been, uh, so let me explain to you what happened with work. So you guys know I am like a hybrid. So I'm half work, half, like half work from home, half work from campus. I have to be on campus three days a week. I didn't go in every day because it makes my life easier. The other day I was like, oh, well, I only have like four hours of overtime. I don't really feel like driving an hour to do that. Plus I have like a seven hour split shift. And then I have to be back at night. So I was like, I really don't want to drive there and back and there and back again. So I went to log into my work phone and I couldn't. It apparently has deactivated me. And I thought maybe it was because we got new internet service provider. We got a new ISP. Uh, we went from Mediacom to AT&T Fiber. And everybody's like, nah, dude, it's not that. Because everything works. Like my work PC works. It is simply just my phone. And it's got to be like a VoIP issue with a firewall or something. So... I have to, I, it wasn't able to be fixed that day, so I had to go to campus anyway. But anyway, I was talking to the guy that's supposed to be fixed this day. He's like, I need these pictures. And I'm like, none of that is an issue. It is simply once I get to the login screen and the access code, no code that has been given to me works. It simply says, cannot connect to your internet service provider. He's like, right, I need these pictures. I'm like, that's great. So what I am doing now is I am heading home. I used my FMLA today, which I was gonna use anyway because the, this morning was a cluster. It took me two and a half hours to get to work. I live 35 minutes away because there was a huge accident and I got caught in it. So luckily I missed the accident by maybe four minutes, three minutes, something along those lines. It was like all, like it was bad. So I didn't get to work until like 8.30. And then I had to use my communication time to get everything up and running and figure out what I was doing for the day and getting all that stuff. And it was just, it was a cluster. And I messaged my boss. I'm like, this is my plan for the day. And she was like, honestly, if this dude doesn't want to help you, I will get his name and find somebody who will help. And I was like, Ooh, mama bear energy. <laughs> she just laughed. But I was like, no, I was like, I would like to be able to work from home. I was like, and I can't do it tomorrow because it's the meeting day. So I have to be at work. And I said, I just want to get it done with. So she's like, all right, we'll do what you want to do. Like, you're, you're good. Do what you need to do. So I am on my way home. I have, I'm, gonna, I'm using my FMLA from 12 to 1 because I get three hours a week. But I could only use it in one, one day, which is weird to me, but whatever. Um, I also have to fill out the information and get all that paperwork over to my doctor for... Uh, medical accommodations because three hours a week to have a panic attack is not enough uh so i'm gonna use the hour then i got flex time from 1 to 115 and then from 115 i think to 215 or 230 or so even maybe 245 because the dude leaves at three uh will give me enough time to go there like go home talk to him. If it can be fixed, then I'm just going to work the rest of the day from home. If it cannot be fixed, I'm going to come back to campus where I will cry. Luckily, I have development time for 5 to 6.15 because I did start my new schedule today and I played with it a little bit where I basically gave myself four 10-hour days. So I'm working until 6.15, but from 5 to 6.15 is development time. Rude. It's so loud. 
it's the relevant time because I have to put together a project in uh, PowerPoint. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk to you a little bit. This is this is this. Okay, I'm back because that stopped, and now the sun is coming out. Um, gotta love technically Florida because I am not in Alabama until literally right now. Now I'm in Alabama. <laughs> I'm at the back way because the last three times I've driven on 10, I've gotten stuck in horrendous traffic. So we're taking the back way. Anyway, I was telling you about my dev time, which I don't even think I realized I kept saying dev time, not development time. So that is what that stands for. But that's the rest of my day. And then at least I'll be, hopefully be home so that I don't have to drive back and not get home until like 7.30 because that would suck. But that's been my life for the last like week and a half, two weeks. Um, last week shot, didn't work so great. Um, I had a lot of food noise. I wasn't overly hungry and I did get a little bit nauseous. Um, but other than that, the shot was fine. Like it didn't stop me when I wasn't, like when I was full a lot. Um, and like I said, I had the food noise. So this week I actually started the seven and a half gram or milligram, whatever it is, the seven and a half dosage. So I'm super excited for that. I shoot it tomorrow, so there's that. Yay, good times. Um, I'm gonna be 40 in 11 days. So there's that. Um, Weight-wise, I'm up like a pound, so I'm not, I'm not mad, but I'm not great. Like, it's what it is. Uh, that's really it. Yeah. Nothing, nothing medical has been like a huge, a huge thing. Other than when I had a heart attack about them not covering my, my Manjaro. Which I honestly don't know if I even told you about. They tried to charge me $500 because I was picking it up a day before it was supposed to be picked up. Good times. But, yeah, that's been my life. So that, that's just, this is just like an update video. So I'm sure a lot of you guys won't watch it fine whatever um ooh, side note can i show you my shoes so i got some clothes from t-mail hello and um these were included now are they exactly like the steve madden ones no no they're not and they definitely don't weigh nearly as much but they're so cute i'll put in a picture of my outfit today i like it a lot timu from the bottom or from the waist down toward from the waist up and then this is I don't have the actual balls to get my stuff up here because I'm a big baby. I do want to get my nose pierced again and then leave it in for as long as I can. But yeah, that is that is my life. So how are you guys doing? I promise I will do a get to know me video, but there aren't any questions on the community post. So go and answer those. Also, I'm letting my gray grow out. My mother is not happy, but I don't care because, you know, again, I'm going to be 40 in three weeks. No, 11 days, not three weeks. I'm going to go and drive and listen to my book. I'm currently, well, listening to assistant to my to the billionaire CEO. I don't know. The guy's got money and he's boinking her in his office. I don't know. All right. I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.